Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Tag the importance of Let's see the importance of carbohydrates in our day-to-day -day life. The first important and the major is the food. The food we eat, we need four course of meal daily, breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner. It's all carbohydrates. Without food, we can't survive. So without carbohydrates, we can't survive. The next important is it is used as storage material in the as starch in the plants and glycogen in the animals. So storage material is also carbohydrate. It is the cell wall of the bacteria and plant is all made of cellulose. The cell wall is made of cellulose. It is used to make furniture. The wood we you see is nothing but a carbohydrate. The paper, the carbohydrates is used to prepare paper. The cotton textile is all carbohydrate. The cotton is all carbohydrates. Right? So it's 90% cellulose. In medicines, a lot of carbohydrates are used. It is also used to in breweries uh, to make beers and all these drinks. So carbohydrates has a lot of importance in our day-to-day -day life. Let's take some numericals on carbohydrates now. The question is glucose or sucrose are water soluble, but cyclohexane or benzene is insoluble in water. Explain. Let's first draw the structure of these. Just to save time, I have these structures now. So this is my glucose. This is my sucrose. This is my cyclohexane. And this we all know is benzene. Now if you see, for a compound to be water soluble, what we look for? We look for hydrogen bonding with water. Because if there is a water molecule here floating around, slightly positive, slightly negative, slightly positive. There has to be something which will bind with this water. So now if you see, this glucose has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 OH bond. And these OH bond can easily form a hydrogen bond with the water. Sucrose is how many? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sucrose has 8 OH bond and these OH bond can also form OH can form hydrogen bond with water. But these cyclohexane, there is no OH, benzene, there is no OH. There is no provision of hydrogen bond. Thus, these are water soluble because they have provision of hydrogen bond with water. These two are water insoluble because they don't have any provision for hydrogen bond with the water. Correct. Let's take another example. The question is what are the expected product of hydrolysis of lactose? See, if you see, the lactose is made by galactose and glucose with a glycosidic bondage here. So obviously if you do a hydrolysis, you will get what? You will get this beta D glucose and beta D galactose out. Pretty easy question. Let's take one more example. We have to explain the absence of aldehyde group. How do you explain the absence of aldehyde group in the pentaacetate of D glucose? So here if you see, if you react D glucose with uh, if you see D glucose and if you react with hydroxy element that is NH2OH it gives you oxygen and why because this is all aqueous medium in the aqueous medium what happens is the cyclic structure of glucose breaks to open structure and thus you get free aldehyde See whatever cyclic structure we have with glucose that breaks into open structure. This is what you get when you put this glucose in water, open structure. So now when you react with this NH2OH, what you get is this compound. That means reaction happens. This is oxygen. Correct. But in case of pentaacetate, this doesn't happen. 
बिकॉज पेंटा एसिडेट डजेंट फॉर्म ओपन स्ट्रक्चर इन वाटर प्लीज नोट इज वेरी क्रिटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट ग्लूकोज वेन यू डिजॉल्व इन वाटर इट फॉर्म्स अ स्ट्रेट स्ट्रक्चर चेन स्ट्रक्चर इन द ड्राई स्ट्रेट इट इज अ साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर बट वेन इट इज इन द एक्वस मीडियम द साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर ब्रेक्स एंड इट फॉर्म्स ओपन स्ट्रक्चर करेक्ट सो दिस इज पेंटासीटेट ऑफ डी ग्लूकोज दैट इज दिस कंपाउंड this is my penta acetate of d glucose now this ring even in aqueous medium will not break since this ring will not this uh, will not break the cyclic structure will not break there is no free aldehyde or ketone so it will not react with nh2o and this explains the absence of aldehyde groups in penta acetate of d glucose so if you want to see whether it has aldehyde group or not you react a compound with hydroxy element so in this case if you take this penta acetate of d glucose you react with nh2oh there will not be any reaction the oxide won't be formed and this proves that there is no there is no free aldehyde group in the penta acetate of d glucose even in aqueous medium thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again